YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here with the review of the Resha Sentai Tokyo Resha Gatai series. Tokyo Resha 8 Diesel Resha! I don't know why I said it like that, but anyway, we have good old Grandpa Train here with us today. And uh, combining the Diesel Resha with the Card Carrier and Tank Resha we looked at previously, we can build Diesel O, and that's exciting. And he's 500 millimeters long. It's actually really long, and it's kind of ridiculous. So without further ado, let's uh, get this out of the way and take a look. So before we begin, as a special campaign bonus with the purchase of Diesel Russia or Diesel O, you got a Red Russia Rainbow version. And all this is is a version of the Red Russia included with the Changer. It is the same one. Alternatively, it could be a Candy Toy-esque one. I'm not 100% sure. But it looks pretty close to the one with the Changer. And uh, it's cast in a clear plastic with a rainbow effect. So you have red, which bleeds into, it looks like pink, and yellow, green, blue, and purple, which could also be pink at the end here. Uh, so it covers all five of the Tokugers, and it looks very cool. I, I just, I like the way that it looks. It's very rainbow and pretty, and I like it. Uh, so this doesn't do anything with the mecha, obviously, because it has no um, port on the back. But it plays a cool noise in the Tokyo Changer. So no matter what button we press, it's going to go through this same phrase. So I'm just going to do the summoning Russia noise because that's kind of what it's doing. So basically, it is summoning all eight of the Russia and telling it to Gatai, which is combine. Uh, so it, it's kind of neat. This is kind of like your key to Cho Tokyo or something like that. Um, but it's a nice little campaign bonus, and I do love the way that it looks on uh, display. So glad I was able to get one and uh, go ahead and take a look at this. So without further ado, let's hop right into the Diesel Russia. And here we have Diesel O, which is incredibly long. Um, I'll get an exact measurement up, but the package lists it as 500 millimeters, uh, which is the longest Russia we have thus far. And uh, if you count build as two separate Russia, this is probably the longest Russia we're going to have, unless the final big train of the year, if we're going to do that this year, which I'm sure we are, is longer, which is a heavy possibility. But as of right now, this is our longest Russia, and it definitely shows. Um, you may be wondering why there's a yellow and blue piece back here, and that is because Diesel combines with Car Carrier and Tank to form Diesel O. So they implemented some color from Tank and Car Carrier into the Diesel Russia to make Diesel O look a little bit more coherent, I think. Um, but regardless, um, this is very cool. There's a couple major flaws with it that I want to point out in its uh, Russia mode. And that is the fact that it has trouble maneuvering. It doesn't have as many segments as the other Russia do. Uh, so whereas tank can split right here and form two pieces that connect it can turn, this one has some problems. Um, now it can connect right up here at the main diesel Russia portion. This is the actual diesel Russia. This will go in the changer, which we'll take a look at shortly. Now, this entire middle section spanning from here all the way to this yellow piece is one chunk. This back here is a separate piece. This will be one of the other arms. And so that has a fold out piece. And then this has a fold out piece right here. And I folded that one out already. So it segments back here so this is one segment back here and then all the way up front here is another segment so you go to turn this thing and you're turning a giant brick basically and I think that's a little bit of a bummer especially given the fact that this middle piece 
isn't really necessary. It's this eventually forms Dieselo and Cho Tokyo's head. Um, but this piece could have easily been engineered, I think, to have wheels at the bottom, or at least faux wheels, and have little pegs here that would uh, connect these two. And even with this big chunk right here, it still would have been a little bit more segmented and uh, actually functioned a little bit better. But that's really my only complaint in the... Uh, Russia mode here is the fact that it's a little bit difficult to play with because of the fact that um, it really isn't uh, segmented as much as like the segments of Tokyo or anything like that. Of note, however, this boxcar back here does have a door. You can stick little tiny things in here. Find like a Micro Machines character or something and toss them in there. I just referenced Micro Machines. I don't even know if those are still around. But anyway... <laughs> Uh, the, the train mode itself is very cool, and because of its length, it's just it's a very impressive looking uh, thing. So let's go ahead and pop this guy off and take a look at the diesel sound. Very cool sound. Alright, so like I said, Diesel can combine with car carrier and tank to form Diesel O. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the transformation for that. It is actually very, very simple. Um, simply take off this middle portion and set that aside. Like I said, that will become the head. These will face with the two plugs facing you. Switch out this little section right here. And that will tab in to the um, opposing section over here. Alternatively, you could pull this one down and keep this one up. It doesn't matter which side you do as long as they connect just like this. These will pop open, and this entire section will fold down just like that. These flaps will open up. Tank will slide in right here, while the car carrier will slide in right here. And of course, spread his legs a little bit. These will fold upward and he shall rise now the diesel uh, middle section will fit right into these tabs right up here just like so and this part will slide down and secure these even further and there you have diesel O. Uh, he he takes a lot of getting used to I think but overall I really like what they were doing um, it's, he's a very flat robot. Very flat. He has no kibble anywhere whatsoever. Unlike Tokyo, which has like a belly and a backpack. He's got nothing. He's as flat as a pancake. And I don't mind that, actually. Um, my biggest complaint with uh, Dieselo is the fact that his arms can't notch one further. If I will show this later, but if they could have did this... I think it would have been a lot easier to swallow because with his arms as they are, it's just it's very weird looking, I think. But in terms of overall design, I like what they were going with. It is very diesel. And uh, I love the chrome. The chrome right here is very nice. It's not overdoing it. It's just a nice little kind of centerpiece for his chest there. Um, and despite the fact that his chrome, it still matches quite well with the gold paint that they used along the side. I do like the head sculpt. It's very blocky, but I do like it. I really wish this could turn or something and form a hand, because as it is, it's just a train. He does have a hand over here, which alternatively in train mode doesn't hide, so it's just a hand sticking out there. 
So unlike the yellow and pink Reshas, he's got a little arm issues going on. But uh, down here, you do technically have a little bit of articulation in the foot because of how these work. So he can kick forward, which is not what a leg is supposed to do. But it's something, I guess. Um, but like I said, it takes a lot of getting used to. And it, it eventually clicked for me. I do like it. I think it is very flawed. There is some things that they could have did to easily fix this up. But at a base standpoint, I love how different it is from Tokyo. Because sometimes these shows get in a rut where they start kind of copying each other and uh, making designs that are very much similar. But despite the fact that these are both made out of trains, they are very different in the way that they overall look. The base is the same, but it's quite a bit of a drastic change between Tokyo and Dieselo, and I really like that. The concept here is trains, and there's only so much that you can do with trains. And given the fact that we've already had a number of train mecha in previous seasons, um, I really like the fact that this is more or less a very fresh take on it, and uh, they're not doing something that they've already done before. Now, of course, you can mix and match with these being how they are. You can go ahead and take this arm off and use... Don't fall. Okay, he fell. Uh, use the yellow Russia on here. And like I said, I think that really clears up the issue with the arms that I had. Um, with a straighter arm like that, it really does, I think, end up looking quite a bit more coherent. But I'll keep the yellow and pink rushes off since we're going to need to take those off anyway. So as I was saying, these can combine to form Cho Tokyo, which is it's kind of mid-season, not really mid-season, um, early season super form, I suppose you could say, since it is Cho, which is super. Um, so we'll be seeing quite a lot of this. The suit on the show actually looks very cool. The toy, however, took a little bit of liberty because of the way the toy is designed, and I will point that out. So basically what we're going to do is pop off the head as per normal and pop off tank and car carrier, bring in Tokyo. Now we're going to take the tank Russia, flip these out, and there is a tab right here, fold that, and that will go right on this leg. Car carrier, same concept, flip out these tabs right here. There is a lever right there that will switch and plug in right here. So now he's got a little bit more stable boot. Scoot him over thing. to the side, bring in Diesel O's body. These will flip up. These will flip up. Split these apart. Fold out that right there. Likewise over here, fold out both of these tabs. Fold back the head while we're at it so we don't have to do it later. This will tab in right here. This part will tab in right here. Line those up and we are getting places. Flip this around and fold that down. Same over here, flip it around, fold it down. And then finally take this headpiece, flip these up to reveal the Cho Tokyo head. And that will peg in right here to form his head. Take the pink Resha, plug in right over here. Take the yellow Resha, plug in right over here. And here we have Cho Tokyo. So despite not being all that big, he doesn't fit on my camera frame all too much, so I'm going to make do with what I can here. Uh, these cannons up here, which I assume they're rail guns of some sort, are actually supposed to be upward a little bit more, I believe. Uh, something like this. Uh, but I prefer to keep them forward all the way to make them look more like actual cannons. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Uh, it's interesting to say the least. So you have the cannons up there, the arms, a bigger body, and some boots. It's very, very interesting of a design. And I get what they're going. They're basically making this up to be a bunch of trains next to each other that all connect and couple. 
and form a robot, and I dig that. Um, the This formation in general does, again, like Diesel O, take a little bit of getting used to, but I really do like the concept they're going for. The suit in the show actually does look very cool. I love the suit in the show. Uh, the show obviously takes liberties with its suit, so these Diesel pieces are actually about probably half as big as they actually are on the toy here. So it makes the main body a little bit more streamlined, the boots are smaller obviously, and everything just looks a little bit more coherent. They didn't have that sort of ability with the toys because the train still had to be as thick as a train. So you end up with a robot that's quite blocky here. It um, It's a very thick, thick robot. And um, I think we'll see a little bit more of a streamlined process once that our final uh, mecha is released. We do have uh, the combination with Build Dio, um, but that unfortunately doesn't add a whole lot. And if anything, just makes them a little bit more bulky. Uh, I think one of the biggest flaws, at least right now, is the arms. The arms do look very thin compared to the rest of the robot, given how beefy the body is. Uh, but again, I hope that's something that's fixed later on down the line. These combinations end up looking nicer and nicer as we go. Uh, so this form could get trumped out by the end of the show. So hopefully it does. Um, but like I said, I do like what they're going for. And as much as a lot of people are going to hate this, I just really, really actually like it. Uh, I, I don't know why. I just I think it's really neat. So as we depart on our tiny singular Resha here... I really like the Diesel Russia. Um, no matter how you picked it up, if you picked up the three Russia individually or you picked them up as a Diesel O set, it's a very interesting design. Like I said, there are major flaws. The arms are something that I'm having a lot of problems getting over. Um, I just wish it could knock one more edge down and um, kind of level itself out a little bit. But unfortunately, it can't. But uh, what are you going to do, really? Uh, it, the flatness is weird, but I really dig it, and I think if you enjoy Tokyuger and like what they're doing with the trains, it is definitely a nice pickup. The formation into Cho Tokyo is kind of innovative, I think, and uh, given what they had to work with, I think they pulled it off okay. Like I said, the suit in the show looks very good, I think, so the design to toy process is really what kind of screwed this up a little bit, because given the fact that they're trains, there's only so much they could take liberties with in terms of sizing, and you end up with uh, what we ended up with, and it takes a little bit of getting used to, but uh, knowing what they had to work with, I really do like what they did manage to pull off. And uh, overall, I'm satisfied, and I'm really looking forward to more of these rushes getting released. Police and Fire are on the way. Both look like to be very cool support rushes, so I'm looking forward to taking a look at those. And of course, Build Dio is right around the corner for Tokyo Rokugo. And uh, Build Dio looks like an amazing robot. Uh, so we'll see what he brings to the table when uh, those three new rushes are released. Um, but as it stands, I really do like it. Whether you pick it up as a set or individually, it doesn't really matter. Uh, they are definitely worth it in the long run. And uh, these rush are just really fun. I'm biased towards trains, I will admit that. So uh, take that as you will. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a great one. Bye.